Uh, let's get going here. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, we're starting with new categories, David Peterson and Zoe Moss, two of our business sales directors. Um, I specifically wanted them to uh, present this because they've gotten some of the more interesting requests over the last year, um, but really exciting. And like uh, John alluded to, we do want to work with you to create new products um, and work with you to create innovative, innovative products um, because I think we need some diversification on the market. And I think that's that's kind of the goal here is to continue to build. Um, but to introduce them, uh, you know, obviously John's recapped our services and product offerings, minus the new one that we will be announcing at 11.45 today. Um, but it's time to talk about how they can best be applied uh, based on customer demand. So like I said, this topic will be tag teamed by two of our members, David Peterson and Zoe Moss. Um, combined, they have over 20 years experience in food and beverage. Dave came, uh, David came from the brand side, working with a few you might recognize, PepsiCo, Red Bull, Kellogg, you might have heard of them. Zoe is based in Colorado and comes from the agriculture industry. So with Fresh Point and C.H. Robinson, they're both solution oriented and many in attendance today have worked with them and you know that they focus on developing relationships with our partners. Um, so I'll let David and Zoe on that note, uh, take it away and tell us about some of the new categories that they foresee being hot on the market. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Diane. You guys look great. <laughs> so we're talking a little bit about CBD market expansion and you know everyone is trying to keep up with the Joneses or past the Joneses in some cases. Uh, but CBD is versatile but becoming extremely mainstream. Um, today we're going to discuss three things. First, diverse, diverse range of products, easily transportable pet products, and then we'll talk about health and wellness. The product innovation category is not easy, and successful product development and go-to-market strategies oftentimes focus on selecting the right strategic partner, and we hope to be that for you. Zoe? Thanks, Dave, and thanks everybody for joining today. Um, this has certainly been fun. Um, so the first product category that Dave mentioned was on the go, and we think that today's consumers are looking for some portable, convenient, and eco-friendly ways to get their CBD fix. Um, what's great about this is that it offers benefits for product developers as well. So some of those benefits include a longer shelf life, cost-effective, more space-efficient, um, enhanced quality control, and then lower shipping costs in some cases. Um, personally, I come from the logistics side of things, and I think anybody that's been in business can understand how expensive and how much of a headache that LTL can be, especially if you're shipping in like a glass bottle or something like that. And so um, as e-commerce continues to expand, I think that you have the opportunity there to do some really unique things with like a stick pack, which would definitely lower some shipping costs. I also, also think that they're pretty space efficient. So whether you're storing products in a warehouse or in your bathroom cabinet in some, in some cases maybe, um, definitely more space efficient to have a stick pack or a box of them than it would be to have a case of sodas. All right. So as I mentioned, I continue to see stick packs, but these are familiar delivery system. Consumers are seeing all the products um, on the right-hand side and more super you know, you see them in the convenience store at this point on the shelf or at the checkout, and, you know, there's not really a lot of education that needs to happen. People are really familiar with them, and they're already widely accepted by the consumer, so a huge opportunity to continue to expand that offering. All right. The article size matters and how sources supporting these products. John mentioned um, the different formulations, and actually one of the fav my favorite products at Source is our agglomerated powder freaking cool. If you haven't seen it, talk to your rep. Um, also on our YouTube channel, there's like a really neat video about how quickly it absorbs. Um, it is known for its rapid hydration. It integrates really seamlessly. It's homogeneous. And Diana and I talk about clumpy powders all the time and how much we hate them. So I love to just point out that it's the exact opposite of that. You don't require a hand mixer or an immersion blender to get these integrated into your liquids. Um, and then partnering with us is you know, pretty familiar uh, from different people that we work with and vetted co-packers. John showed a couple of slides about that and uh, really taking out some of the guesswork. They're familiar with our products and I think that's always great 
you know, makes the, pro the project easier. Um, and then last of all, make it tasty. You know, the integrity of your products is what's going to shine through. It's not necessarily about the flavor or our emulsion. Um, it's just there to support. So, Dave. All right. Let's talk about everybody's best friend. Not myself yet, but pets. <laughs> the pet CBD market alone is expected to grow by 54%. Right? So, $64 million business is going to expand to $810 million in just a few short years. Pet owners are looking for these alternatives for their pet's medical issues, anxiety, pain, stiffness, poor appetite, the list goes on. One example from one of my clients is, um, I, thought, I found fascinating is that, did you know that the human knee is the same size as the four knees of a horse? And so a horse has to support 1,200 pounds with those knees. All I can tell you is, is we all strive to be healthy as a horse, but our goal is to have the CBD create the proper horse, horse health to allow for us to all be healthy as that horse. Next, pet CBD products and form factors. They're taking a lot of different formats. I won't drain the graph on this slide, but what I will tell you is that tinctures, powders, and gels are amongst the most common. But what you can see is, is that there's room to grow in those trees and in those topicals, and some of you may have uh, visions of entering that category. So find your slice of that pie and go after it. So why water-soluble for pets? Source is a technology that animal enthusiasts across the board can trust. Accurate dosing, bioavailability, fast onset, safe and natural ingredients, allergen free. So ultimately, water soluble ingredients are just better. They're easier for pets and humans to digest and far superior than that of oil based. So let's move to health and wellness. The global CBD consumer health market size was valued at just over 20 billion in 2019. Okay? That's going to grow at a compound annual growth rate of over 25.6% over the next seven years. I came from the grocery business, as I mentioned. Any time that you could experience a 5 to potentially 8% growth, that was absolutely huge. We're talking about four to five times this. So all of us on here are on the call. We're all excited about the growth. But we're not doing this for free. There's money to be made out here. <laughs> Get yourself uh, involved. What's driving that? It's the health. It's sustainable ingredients. It's the functional ingredients. They're plant-derived, all natural. In some cases, they're organic. So convenient, enjoyable consumption methods and for supplements. So what we say, and I didn't write this, but goodbye, <laughs> kale chips and hello, CBD. You didn't write it, but it's a great line. Um, so what are some of those uh, health and wellness CBD products that are on the rise, like Dave mentioned? Functional beverages, wellness shots, and performance-enhancing drinks. I'm sure that Michael's talked about that over the course of the last two days. That those are huge categories and a ton of room for growth. Also has interesting one, cosmetics like skincare and shampoos, um, some familiar ones like capsules and soft gels and supplements, and then oral care, which I think is super cool, mouthwash and toothpaste. Um, what a great delivery method. And what I will say, uh, remember cosmetics are regulated differently than food and beverage items by the FDA. If you have any questions about that, Mike Schmidt and Juan, who are sticklers for the rules and all kinds of you know, parameters, those guys, they talked on day one, they can definitely advise you um, on what those rules and regulations might be. So it's a match. What's a match, Dave? <laughs> We're the match for the health and wellness sector, okay? Our attributes match that of health and wellness. So when you think health and wellness, think about coming to the source. Clean label approach, safe and natural ingredients, no additives, sugar, masking agents, um, bitter blockers, which a lot of people uh, have in their products as standard. We can add it if you need, but again, these are not things we're adding uh, on a whim. Quality assurance and transparency. So let's have some fun. All right. Dana, I'm going to just kick this off for you. I'll do it. You can do All it. All right, we have a quick poll. I'm going to start it. 
All right, so the question is, if you could add one item to your product suite today to be successful with your audience, what would it be? Um, and some of, and the answers are edibles, beverages, topicals, nutraceuticals, pet products, personal care. Okay, this is fun to watch these trickle in. Oh, what are you okay. Saying? What are you saying? I was, we have a, a horse in the fight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wait yeah. just another maybe 10 seconds or so, but, um, all right, I'm going to close this poll. The, well, the, the winner is pet products, actually. So, yeah, I think that's pretty interesting. Pet products are certainly, like Dave said, just growing year over year, and people love their, you know, their four-legged friends. Oops. Yeah, oh, everyone, everyone um, likes money on their pets. I will say it was an interesting mix looking at the poll because it was pretty even. Pets uh, pulled out the lead there, but edibles, beverages, nutraceuticals, personal care, people seem to be interested in all categories, which is great to see. Yeah. And then some of the more interesting products we've seen um, in the marketplace really express that the possibilities are in fact endless. Um, you have seen CBD pillowcases, CBD mascara, toilet paper, um, just a wide breadth of things. Uh, what is clear here though, there will be more products adding CBD and Dave, who is a huge, or trying to become a huge influencer on Instagram, mentioned to me that he <laughs> actually received an ad recently for a CBD layered mask. So uh, if you want any details on that, you could probably DM him, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> um, and then just kind of, I'll send it back to Dave as if he's the weather guy. Uh, to, to wrap us up. Well, ultimately, you know, we'd love you to use, utilize Source, and thank you for being a partner, but we look at it as a strategic partnership, right, with quality assurance, consistency. We've got scalability, so as you grow, we'd love to grow with you. Product development, operation support, and as John mentioned, collaboration. So, you know, you came to the Source, and we're going to move this, product, this, uh, this industry forward, and we're going to do it with infused products. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody.